Rox, it's me. Call me. Do you think Mum's OK? Of course she is, mate. I just don't like to think of her on her own. But she's not on her own, is she? Uh, Laura. When you do know it, don't matter what people say, do you? We know your mum better than anyone, yes? I watch she likes to drink every now and again. Sometimes two, three. Like Ben's dad. Don't mean anything, right? Don't matter what people are saying. What have people been saying? She's not an alcoholic. Of course she ain't. All I'm saying is just don't take any notice, all right? Oh, I hate this. Oh, don't be like that. Sorry, I said to her now. I just, just don't want you getting upset again, all right? That's all. Yeah, that's right. Roxy Mitchell. What, the normal way? M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L. Are you sure? Well, can you check again? No, I already spoke to Annie and they put me through to you. <sighs> okay, thanks, bye. Oi! Where have you been, you selfish cow? Disappear all night, you don't call up a worried sick. Ask your psycho ex. Driving and driving. And for a minute I thought it was. And then uh, he he just dumped me in the middle of nowhere, miles away. Pitch black. No money. No phone. No nothing. I just hitched all the way back. Hitched and walked. No, he wouldn't. He would. But he's cracked. I saw it in his eyes. He could have done anything. Be my guest. Injured part here. I could have got her locked up, but I didn't. Oh, you're such a hero. I was thinking of you. Like I said. You know better than anyone what she can be like. You banged on to me about it often enough. She's my sister. Sooner or later, she was going to have to take responsibility for her actions. I thought what you wanted. She stepped out of line, I put her back in it. Couldn't I get away with it, could I? Oh, what? Everyone laughing at you? Now, that would never do, would it? Look, you want to keep your little sister out of trouble, I suggest you keep her on a tighter leash. Or your what? Well, I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Stay away from her. If I didn't know you better, I'd swear you were jealous. I thought you were going to bed. I'm too wound up to sleep. Look, why don't we go away for a bit? We'll get some distance. Might make you feel better. The only thing that will make me feel better is to watch Jack Branning suffer. Peggy, have you seen Roxy? She was upstairs a minute ago. <sighs> Weren't there and you don't know what he put me through. I know. I know, but you've got to let me deal with it, all right? Besides, the man's a psycho. You said so yourself. I know what I'm doing. Listen to me. I can bail you out until the cows come home, but if that man takes you apart, I can't put you back together again, can I? So please, please let me handle this. Besides, out of sight, out of mind. What do you mean? I am going to take you away for a little treat. No, run. Come on, it's the last thing I feel like doing. All right, so you don't fancy hitting the ski slopes of Austria then, no? Are you kidding? No, but I can take the tickets back if you feel badly about it. <laughs> How long have I got to pack? You've got about an hour. Have I got time for a leg whack? No, you haven't. And don't make us late for this, all right? <laughs>
As I said, I've come for my share of February's takings. So, what's the rush? Me and Roxy are going on holiday. We're anywhere nice. Hmm. Austria. <clears throat> we were going to spend Christmas now. Were we? Why don't you blow her off? Come with me. You won't regret it. That is never going to happen. Because I hate you. I can't stand the sight of you. Your face. That fake smile. <laughs> Time to move on, Jack. You mean nothing to me now. Did you get the money? Yes, I did. I've got it. Right then, take care of yourself, aren't you, Paige? Yes, I will. Tell our darlings, you two have a good time and don't do anything I would. Ah! Free drinks. Yeah, well, me and Mum are going out, so. Yeah, cinema, she said. Oh, I just did happen to mention it. Ain't no horror film. Sounds cool. I'd be up for it. Take a hint, Stephen. Come on, Mum. <laughs> so, did you have a few drinks on the plane? Shh, Roxy doesn't like the word plane. She prefers flying bar. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This, this is all the way from Austria. Well, it's from the airport, but it's set in Austria. What well, did I tell you about Disturbing Ben, eh? The sound of music. It's a girl's film, isn't it? It's a war film. It's about a grumpy old man who falls for a girl who just wants to have fun. Like Shirley? Yeah. Yeah, not exactly like Shirley. And, um, and why is she working anyway? That's Zachter. Come on, let's get upstairs, eh? Yeah? Rox, where's Albert Smith? Uh, hanging by the phone. Hang on, we're busy. No, you're busy. I've got an headache. Oh, well, by the way, welcome back. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> hey, you got my message, then? Listen, why don't I get you a drink? Actually, look, why don't you all come down to the club? It's a free entry. You can't do that. Minty? I can't. I've got to look after, uh... Oh, come on, girl. Listen, we're on a mission. We've got to get Bradley back in the saddle. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, it is my birthday, so if anyone's first up for a fumble, eh? <laughs> Don't wait up. Wait, we... right, there's laws against nicking punters. Oi! Oh, great. Look who's here. Ian with her. I know he said he didn't do anything, but... Well, look at her. Men don't own arm, and there's something's going to come out. Oh, it makes me want to... Oh, my God. Go snog the face off the nearest boat. <laughs> Drinks on me. All night. If you snog one of that lot. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, maybe not. Last thing you need to knock back. Oh, what, what, you, you think I can't pull anything these days? What, these days? <laughs> All right, you're on. But I get to choose. A boss that can get his hands dirty, I'm impressed. Yeah, well, but I'm just thinking of worse. <laughs> it beats bacon and eggs. I don't know Ian. No, he's, uh, he's got things to do. So you got yourself a fan? Yeah, nice girl. I might be rather, I prefer girls me own. Um, can I buy you a drink? Um, one up here. I'll let you into a little secret. Half price. Do you want one? I'd love one. Does she like that with everyone? Nah, not with me. We talk Greek philosophy. Oh. Yeah, that I knew her favourite telly was. <laughs> Jake, uh, do you mind? No, no, you go for it. I'll be right here. There's only toy in with you. You do know that. What's the matter? Jealous. <laughs> You're not looking for Bradley, are you? No, Stephen. Yeah, well, he left a while ago. What? I've just seen him for another drink. Oh, well, why don't you have this one? Oh! 